All right, here's hoping for good weather. I have to tell you, and I was just say, telling you during the break, it felt a lot colder out there you know, than the actual temperature yeah, reading, it, right? It did, it did. My brother's visiting this weekend from Philadelphia and he was like, Jay, every time I come out here, it's cold over in <laughs> Cleveland. And I said, you know, it was real a, pay, a real page turner from going yeah. from summer to fall last mm -hmm. week. Breezy winds today, Lena, you felt that as well, up to about 30 miles per hour oh. gusts across Northeast Ohio. And what does it look like for these events we were just talking about tomorrow? Let's talk to you about the forecast. Right now, we had temperatures tipping the scale in the low 60s today. We'll cruise back into the upper 50s overnight tonight, so we're not going to be quite as chilly as we were waking up yesterday morning. Again, as I said before, you remember what it was like when we had some, some friends down there well inland, like the Mansfield uh, Worcester area. They started out Friday morning with some frost, believe it or not. All right, we won't have that happen overnight tonight, but we are still dealing with the remnants from Ian as that storm is still dying down and likely going to be shredded apart over the next several hours here. It's already beginning to kind of take effect. However, we still have these very large bands of clouds. Look at this extending all the way up through Ontario, even extending up to northern Maine at this hour. This is still Ian at least what was left of Ian here. We still have some light rain bands over towards the south and also east for our friends down in Tuscarawas and also Carroll County. You've been enduring some scattered rain showers for today. As we promised you, this is not going to be a widespread event across northeast Ohio. We do still have this tropical light influence. You can see there normally storm systems at least from 30 to 60 degrees north on the earth and in terms of the latitude goes from west to east. This is why the lower 48 is dealing with systems that start out in the west. They travel over towards the east. But cyclonic systems rotate counterclockwise. This is why we have that tropical influence coming from the east moving over towards the west. Veiled sunshine can be expected across the region for the rest of the day. Also for the first half of tomorrow, once we get high pressure moving back in, we die down with the cloud cover and we also allow more sunshine. Current temperatures upper 50s. You can see there for Worcester and also Mansfield low 60s elsewhere. Ravenna, you're also dealing with the upper 50s at this hour. There is a light rain. You can see still cruising through portions of Tuscarawas and also Carroll County. Good news is we don't have any sort of flooding issues down there. And that is likely to stay the same, at least for the rest of the evening here. And then once we get that energy moving on out of here, we're still going to be dry. However, we're still going to be dealing with the influence of this onshore wind. Again, gusts expected up to 20 to 30 miles per hour across the region. These are max sustained winds across the region right now. 14 you can see for Elyria, 16 you can see for Cuyahoga County. So let's look at the broad picture here because there's a couple things I want to show you over the next few days. So high pressure is coming back in. That trough is going to be extending down. We have a frontal boundary around late Sunday heading into early Monday. This is going to be moisture starved. However, this is going to be the energy that's going to kick this uh, remnants of Ian back out to sea. You can see the blues coming down, so that's going to be cooler air coming back in. Influence of high pressure takes over from Monday, Tuesday heading in towards Wednesday. We're going to have a warm front moving north, so that'll bring that warming wind from the south. Then another frontal boundary coming in. Look what happens here by Thursday heading in towards Friday. Ooh, an influence of very cold air coming in. Even some mixed precipitation will be felt back over towards Canada. That is not making it in here. I will point that out to you. So with that warm front, we got 70s back on tap in your union home mortgage seven day and then icy at shower there, but much cooler by Friday and Saturday of next week, Lena. All right. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Jason.